You know my next guest from his Adult Swim shows, Delocated and Neon Joe Werewolf Hunter. He also really loves gear. Please welcome my old friend, John Glazer. Scribble. Scribble, scribble. Good to scribble. see you again. You too. How are you? Uh, I'm doing good. Thank That's you. That's a great suit. Thank you very That's much. That's really lovely. Is that shark skin? It's a shark skin suit. It's vintage. Yeah. Wow, uh, vintage shark skin. That's yeah. lovely. Well, I know, I, you know, I don't know if you remember the last time I was here. I dressed very kind of sporty and casually. You, you did actually. They, we have this is that's this is what you wore last time. Yeah. You had uh, you had shorts on. And, <laughs> Right, but it's because you, you love gear. Well, I love gear, and I thought it'd be fun to wear just like a fun outfit. And this time sure. I thought, let me just go a little classier and wear a suit. All right. <laughs> Season two, John uh, Glazer loves gear. Correct. Without giving anything away, your, your character loves gear. Yes, I, can, I continue to love gear. Okay. Uh, what can we expect? I think we have a clip here of you loving... Loving something. Is it gear? What do you, what, what's happening in the yes, next clip it, we're seeing right here? In the clip, uh, we're seeing at the, the very first episode, we find out that the network wants to fire me and hire my sidekick to be the host of the show, and then I become the sidekick. Now, the sidekick was played by an incredible actor named Steve Serbis. He's a very rugged, macho, tough-looking guy, buzz-cut tattoos. Sure. More of who you'd expect to be hosting a gear show. Right. And so I need to prove to the network that I'm just as rugged and macho as Steve, and I take some physical and literal steps to prove it. Okay. Uh, Jim? I'm kind of looking to toughen up my image. Okay, what kind of thing are you thinking of getting? Well, I want to give this image of like, this guy's tough, this guy's cool. So I figured I would do a combo of like gear stuff, personal stuff. Like, I love guac, and I'd love to have that represented on my body somewhere. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is sweet. Ooh, I like the little bits of guac seasoning. Guac and roll! That's nice. That's guac nice. and roll. Rock and roll. Now, is there any any of those stories? Because uh, it's you know, while while we're exploring gear, obviously, because yeah. you love you love gear, there's also and this is, is a story every week. It's the story of your character and his relationship with the people. Is there any of these stories true, taken from real life, or is this all just make them up? No, a lot of it is based on truth. Uh, a lot of you know, a lot of the stuff in the second season, but as well, for example, in the first season, we had a, a baseball episode, mm -hmm. and I drew on much of my real life. Uh, I had my actual freshman from year of high school baseball cap, and we also had a storyline. So that's that's the true part. That? The baseball cap was your baseball well, cap? I had the cap and we got it fixed. It was pretty incredible. But okay. another storyline in that episode is when I was in sixth grade. So I just want to go back. The sure. storyline that was true was baseball cap. <laughs> I didn't that realize is... you did character work that deep. Well, that was. <laughs> yes, that was one of the storylines. Go ahead, was, sorry. Yeah, was yeah. baseball cap. Getting to this year? And then the other one in that episode was me calling my counselor in sixth grade a. Uh, uh, Do we? That took me by surprise. I must say, I took me slightly by surprise. And how did that, how is that true? And what part of that is true? And what? Uh, the part that's true is uh, when I called him that. What, in sixth grade? In sixth grade summer camp. Camp counselor? Camp counselor. We were playing softball against another bunk. We're destroying them. And my counselor, he was pitching. The counselor's pitched. A kid on the other bunk hits a fly ball to my counselor, and he does that thing where he pretends to get sun in his eyes, and he drops the ball just so they could get a base runner. A very nice thing. Everybody recognized. So you don't skunk him. What's that? Exactly. We didn't want it to be a total blowout. Yeah. Everyone knew he was doing it as a joke. Right. I knew he was doing it as a joke, and I said, thinking that I was being funny. And how old are you now? This is uh, the summer before sixth grade, so probably 11 or 12. Okay. And so I said in what I thought was a clear, obvious, funny way, oh, man, Mark, you <laughs> Now, again, I think I'm being obviously funny. He didn't see it that way. <laughs> Tells me to go back, like, back to the bunk, now. And I'm st stammering, like, I, I, I was just, just joking around. I was trying to be funny. I, move it. Back to the bunk, now. 
I'm about to start sobbing. I'm so ashamed and embarrassed. I make a beeline back to the bunk. As soon as I round the corner out of sight, I'm sobbing, I'm crying. I run to my bunk, tear open my uh, trunk. I pull out a notepad and paper and write a letter home to my mom like, I hate camp, my counselor yelled at me. No explanation of calling him a <laughs> I am sobbing and I let some of the tears roll down my cheek and I'm like <laughs> shaking the tears off my cheek so they land and hit the page, forming little wet spots, and I circled each one, and I wrote, and I wrote, tear. <laughs> drew, drew an arrow to the circle of each teardrop, and I signed it, and this is no joke, your crying son. You're, you're a terrible child. That is, if I would... What did your mother do? My wife would lose her mind if she got a, a letter back like that from one of her children. She, of course, called camp. I'm like, what is going on? I got this letter. The counselor yelled at my child. They explained that I called him a <laughs> And she came up, and we all went for a nice walk, and uh, it was fine. All of that, ladies and gentlemen, is in John Glazer <laughs> Loves Gear. <laughs> Season 2 premieres this Wednesday on True TV. John Glazer, everybody. Thank you, John. We'll be right back with a performance by Taylor.